Hello, my name is Kark32, and welcome back to my Kark Tech New Horizon series. I've just got a uh, nice bunch of diamonds. Yeah, those are locked. So I can go ahead and craft up a few more of these. I don't know if I'm going to have more than nine meshes. I can't remember how much these go up to. Don't these go up to like a huge amount? I saw that somewhere, and I... It's more than 5x5, five five, isn't it? Hmm, I don't know. I swear I saw, like, a thing that said it went up to, like, 8x8 eight eight or something. Is it, like, is it in a quest? <clears throat> yeah, 8x8. Eight eight. Um, I didn't know they went up to that size, but... I don't know if we're gonna... <laughs> I don't think there's any need to do that, to be honest. <clears throat> Maybe like end game, uh, one where you really need a whole lot of materials if we're still sifting at that point. All right, but I do want to upgrade my pulverizer to go a little bit faster because I do want it to be doing all nine if possible. And also, we need a I need to expand this iron one because you do get a piece for every single thing, so that's gonna fill up like super super quick. And the other thing I want, one tryout, since we can do the the blocks in here, that's a bit annoying. I want to try the factorizer. And this is pretty easy to craft up, so I want to get that. Does this require steel? No, that's just iron. All right, let's do this. Oh, I made a pattern chest as well for my uh, the the casts there. Do I have some? Yeah, we're gonna need that. I know that. So we're gonna need some more iron. Oh, I replaced this with a a uh, crate as well. So just kind of expanding my storage and kind of gathering my resources here. Where is that? That's gonna take a second. What else do we need here? This is for yeah. So tin and glass. Should get a bit more organized here. Kind of like bouncing back and forth than my uh, the crafting table is like there, there's one there, my stuff is over here, I have my metals over here, so kind of all over the place. But uh, the other the world. That, those are good, so let's get these. And then I should have yep, two of those. Good. Is it that? Yep. All right, and there is the last one. Do I have any? I can't remember. Do I have? Yeah. You know, uh, should have plenty of coal, though. Is that what we want to do? No, it's cold coke we want, isn't it? I gotta figure out what I do with that. Hmm. I haven't figured out tank situation. There are a few ones that thermal. I want something like really big. That's not what I want. That thermal. Don't they have like the yeah reservoirs? I mean they're pretty big, but I'm so used to Greg Tech with the super huge tanks. Is there something with like a void on it? That would be something I kind of want. A tank with a void, maybe. I'll have to look into that. Should I just break it and replace it? Oh, I don't have the thing on me. Guess the side. Nope. Side does it want to do it on? There we go. So yeah, we'll throw that in there. Just get some more cold coke. This is definitely not set up <laughs> ideally here. 
That's everything for the factorizer. Just a thing. Can I just do? Yeah. Couldn't remember if that was a regular recipe or an expert recipe, but all right, there is the factorizer. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I just kind of wanted to put it next to my other thermal stuff. Auto input. Yeah, we don't want that. All right. Well, we have some sandstone if we need. Did we need sandstone for something? All right. Let me use it for... Maybe I'm thinking something else. Oh, maybe it's niter that I was thinking about. Or sulfur or something like that. All right. But as we can see, it's basically a packager. Um, from Greg Tech is what I believe this is. Um, so it takes like nine and combines it into one. Just kind of similar to what uh, the packager does in Greg Tech. I wanted that. And the cool thing is it doesn't use any power, which to be honest, it feels kind of, I don't know, seems kind of weird that it doesn't use power to be honest. But uh, I wanted to upgrade that. Probably one in there. Yes. Now one in there. Where did that cobblestone come from? Hmm. I probably want to broke something. Yep. There you go. And I think Blaze is next, isn't it? Oh, Diamond. The diamond is next. Oh, look at that. Creative cobble gen. I mean... Is that... Like, why is that one better than just a regular cobble gen? No idea. <clears throat> um, yeah, so now it's doing... It looks like it's doing four at once. Is that what it's doing? Well, I'm happy with that, um, but we do need to upgrade the pulverizer. So should we take a look at the, isn't it like the hardened, is it, no, not hardened, the upgrade, I'm going to have to, what are they called? Upgrade, invar upgrade, these things. Hardened upgrade kit, I was kind of right. All right. Bronze gear, invar, and... Redstone. The four should have redstone in here as well. I have ninety. It'll last me for a little bit. But uh bronze. We need bronze. So easy, we'll just we'll just throw it in there and it'll mix in there. Um, I could, I could get the metal press. Oh, that's not gonna do anything. But uh, from immersive engineering, maybe get the, um, the metal press. That would be easier way to get the gears. But eh, I don't know. Right this second, I don't feel like it's a priority. Kind of wondering, should I have? Eventually, do I want to have like a nine by nine that's doing gravel and like maybe one doing sand and one doing dust? Would that be something to think about? Maybe. I don't know. That would be a lot of those. I could maybe move that out that way, and maybe have another nine by nine here and another one there, kind of thing. I don't know if that's necessary. The only thing I'm thinking is because I want I want redstone, and the only way to get redstone is sifting. Well, only way to get it right now is sifting. Uh, dust is there? Yeah, dust. Is there like a void miner in this? I don't remember. Uh, 
I can't remember the name of that mod. That's the the void miner. I'll have to look into that. Alright, I'm getting distracted here. Hard and upgrade kit. There it is. It was probably there before, I just didn't see it. Alright, so basically you just shift click on it and it upgrades. And now we can put augments in. Um, let's see. Processing speed would probably be one that we need. And that is easy enough. Basically just gold. Wow, that is like super easy. Five gold, two red alloy. Uh, the question is, I'm going to be producing enough power for this would be <laughs> one question, because this does increase the power. Yeah, so we're going to use 120 RF, I'm assuming, so it's three times. Um, not sure how that will work. Um... I'm curious if that will backlog, because we're definitely not producing enough power. We could upgrade the solar panels to, we're at tier three. I could just upgrade to tier four and that would do that. So I would need to craft up two more of those and some of these, which is just some clay and relatively easy. But the farther down the line we get, the more... <laughs> recursive we get and we have to craft more and more solar panels so it does ramp up pretty fast yeah so we are actually draining um power here well it is night why don't we sleep at least so still draining but not quite as fast okay i think i'm gonna craft up the next tier of solar, I think. Might as well do that, since it is still relatively easy. Uh, so yeah, let me cut here and... Actually, before I do that, let's look at the upgrades for the, the barrels here. So we have the blank upgrades. I have some over here. And how do these work? So... I'm assuming each of these do a certain amount. I don't know what they do, but infinite is four emeralds. That is so easy when you have infinite resources. Yeah. Let's do an infinite, I guess. Is this just like, this just feels so weird that you have like an infinite storage with just some like wood and a few emeralds. I know it's a little different in a regular world, but I don't know. Yeah, I guess that'll just keep filling up till infinity, I guess. I guess we don't need the, the bar. That's never going to fill up. Do we want that? Eh, doesn't really match. <laughs> we'll leave it like that. Uh, we just know there's going to be a whole lot of iron. All right, well, that was easy enough. And that won't cause issues if it gets to, like, billions of iron. That won't cause any lag issues or anything. Hmm, interesting. All right, uh, let me craft up some more of the solar. What are these called? Solar? Yeah, solar panel f four, I guess it would be. Why don't I actually add it to the my bookmark? I always forget. Yeah, there we go. Probably remove that. So there it is. Maybe had that. And that. And that. <laughs> Alright, uh, let me craft this up and we'll be back. And we're back and I have almost everything here. I'm just crafting up the last of these. And I think... Oh, I actually made too many mirrors. Oh well. But, uh... Yeah, block of iron. Yeah, this is definitely much easier <laughs> doing it that way. And let's do it right here. And it probably went in the, the thing right there. 
Like, that's... Yeah, that's clear enough, fast enough. And there we go. And these are both 128, so I just have... I have 256 now, so that's pretty good. And there we go. Uh, I should probably upgrade this as well. The, what were the hardened ones? I just did it about 10 minutes ago. That would actually went really quick. Right, I need bronze gear. That's a bit annoying. But other than that, it's actually pretty easy and two redstone. All right. Alright, so we sped that up, and I think it's, yeah, it's pretty much doing, they're not all, like, completely even, but, uh, yeah, we're ke it's keeping up with all nine, so, yeah. And it's actually stopping, as we can see, it's actually going faster, so it's not always using it, it's almost using it permanently, but it may stop and just for a little bit. I have no idea how that stone got in there. Yeah, I must have accidentally put it in there and I didn't realize. Alright, that is pretty cool. I'm happy with that. So let's see if when we do this, I'm pretty sure this works on, yeah, all right, so there we go, and then that's, I have no idea how much, it... 8 million, all right, so, all right, I'm pretty happy with that for now, so I think it is time to possibly uh, move on, and I need to figure out where I kind of want to go now that I have a decent-ish <laughs> supply of resources at least iron and stuff i still have a little bit of an issue with that so maybe i should sort should i sort that out mm. i'm gonna need a decent yeah i'm gonna have to do that all right maybe i should rearrange some of this Maybe I should send this off this way and have another one right next to it. Is that what I want to do? I could probably move this. Well, that one I actually don't need anymore. I don't need the manual. I don't need that manual mill. I could probably just chuck it over the side, but it feels kind of bad. Um, but we have the water mill, so I don't need that anymore. Um... I'm trying to think how I would set this up. Yeah, let me, because I would probably pipe out. How am I doing this again? I'm piping it into, yeah. So I'm thinking I would almost pipe, pipe that over into another pulverizer to get sand. Oh, I would need three, wouldn't I? I need, that's right. To get redstone, I need dirt or uh, dust. All right, let me kind of cut here and gather my thoughts and figure out what I want to do. All right, we are back, and I have been doing uh, quite a bit of building here, and I've gone ahead and got a, another uh, nine, uh, three by three sifter, and I've just kind of it look a little prettier. Unfortunately, I tried to do flowing water on both sides, but it doesn't work. It just stops. So, eh, it doesn't look great, but I don't know. I think that's kind of cool with the glass. So I have this one and then one over here. Gone ahead and crafted up a, another pulverizer. Um, I had one extra of those lead engineering blocks, so pretty easy. Um, but this one is pulverizing the sand, so it's auto-inputting from this. And just pulverizing that down into sand. Now this is just the output. The um, 
like the extra whatever you get. I don't know what you get from this. I'm kind of curious what the uh, pulverizer. Yeah, 15%. So I'm only doing the 15% uh, extra, but yeah, I don't think this is going to go fast enough for both both things. Um, oh, actually, no, that's not. What am I talking about? This is only feeding that one. Right. All right. What am I talking about? Yeah. So this is what's feeding this one, which is going to pulverize the sand down. And uh, yeah, I just need to put the uh, the meshes in there, but I need to move this. Uh, this thing. And I'm thinking if I just put it here, does it pick up behind it? Yes. Does it pick up like back here? Yeah, it does. All right. That's all I wanted to know. So we're going to move this. Oh, and I crafted up a crescent hammer. I should be able to shift right click that. Yeah. So let's, I guess doesn't need to be I don't think that's kind of annoying is that <laughs> this is two spaces wide so if I put this down in the middle it's not even <laughs> I know it doesn't really matter but how about all right there and then can I right click this no that just faces it that's what I wanted Wait, how did it? I just right click. Okay, so right click there. I'm just clicking right click and it's doing different things each time. So I right click there and move to there. And then if I right click there, like, I don't know that that's weird. All right. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I guess to the right. I wish I could turn this off, but can't really turn it off. Any more item ducks? Is it that? Think it was that? Yeah. Just craft a bunch of those up. And then, yeah, we'll just send this out to here. I mean, I don't love it, but. That outputting. Oh, wow! Oh, you can search. All right, so if you right-click this, you can search. Didn't know that was a thing. Oh, and then you can that left-clicking on that pulled up that. Although I don't think you can like pull out from this thing. Doesn't feel like it's. That doesn't feel like that is working. Auto output. These are item ducks, right? Yeah, I don't think that's actually working, is it? Hmm. Can you not pipe stuff into this? Be a bit interesting. That's auto output, right? I have to. Is that going? Is it just really slow? Maybe I need a servo. How about we throw a servo on it? Because it was auto outputting before, wasn't it? Not super crazy. Servo. Yeah, two iron. Glass. I should have some more glass in here. Yep. What was it again? Yeah, iron. Although I could do. Why don't we do Invar? I have that. Might as well. I'm actually kind of curious if that is. 
Is it just not fast enough? Well, let's see. Mike, I feel like it's not actually inputting into here. Um, that's not how I th thought that would go. What's that back there? Let me. Hmm. Yeah, they all. There's room for them all, right? There's nothing going up. It is definitely not. I'll put it into there. All right, let me figure this one out. Um, maybe you can't pipe stuff. These are item ducks, right? Transfers items, yeah. Is that? Yeah, hmm, interesting. All right, yeah, let me figure this out and we'll be right back. All right, I think I actually realized what is happening and the reason you can't see it is because these are opaque. What I think is happening, yeah. I put this there and set it to there, I think, it's the item ducks. So the stuff is going along and it's going very, very slow. So it sends out one thing and it's taking all the time to get to it. And once it gets to it, then it'll send out the next one. And I think it's just going super, super slow. I think is the problem here. And that is just the item ducks. Yeah, see, it did. Now this is going to be like going along. It'll be like do 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 then in, and then I'll send the next one out. But that is going to go way too slow. Um, can I? I guess item ducks. I was looking at these. How many do I need? One. Oh, I have enough. What am I talking about? Because you get multiple ones from that. Um, I need to go get an ender pearl. We have any Endermen over here? See any Endermen? Let me um, let me get an Ender Pearl and we'll be right back. All right, and there is the Ender Pearl. And I think pulsating iron looks like the only way we can get. Actually, we get pulsating iron any other way. Yeah, allies Smelter, of course, but we don't have that yet. So we'll just have to do that off. All right, and then conduits. Actually, now that I'm thinking, can we get the impulse? We don't have glowstone yet, do we? Impulse item ducks. Do you get those again? I feel like I'm... <laughs> What's going on here? Uh, is there a... Isn't there like a recipe for impulse side effects? I don't know. Maybe I'm... Um... Okay, that... I feel like... Oh, that's right. You have to... Right. I was, I was not thinking this was a fluid transporter. That's right. You take the item ducks and then you fill them with energized glowstone. All right. Of course. Like I said, it has been a while since I have <laughs> played with thermal expansion. And I have a thing over here for all my mob drops. This chest is definitely not big enough, but it'll work for now. Wow, this goes really slow. So, back to conduits. We need conduit binder, which needs... Gravel, sand, and clay. Super easy to make. And you get a bunch, don't you? Yeah, you get eight. Sand. Easy enough. Put that in there. Is this done yet? There we go. Get our pulsating iron. There's probably a quest for that, but I'm not gonna worry about that quite yet. Probably need a certain amount. All right, there's the nuggets. That was weird. 
Wait, we need six of those. Yeah, there is. I was looking. Um, where are we? Zeta? No. Delta? No. Man, I'm, one of these days I'll remember where. Zeta. There we go. Yeah, there is quests for. Yeah, there it is. But it's after the yellow smelter. But. I need to hold 12 of these ingots to get these quests. So even though I've made bronze, I haven't held 12 of them. I'll have to remember to do that at some point. All right, there is those. There is eight. Forgot, is this enough? Hopefully this will actually work how I want it to. Those, those darker than before? Is that like a new texture? Oh, this is new. This is definitely new from the last time I have played with that. That. All right, there we go. And then if we want um, the speed upgrade, what are they? Ooh, that's a little more difficult. Electrical steel, can't do that yet. Iron alloy ingot. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, can't do the extract upgrades, unfortunately. Um, I think I think that'll work better than those super slow things from before. I have one of the most. What are those things again? What is that? Dark offspring. Sound terrible. Should light that up since I don't need mobs anymore. All right. Uh, yeah, I just need some more of the things. Oh, do I have no string? That's an issue. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of string. All right. Well, I'm going to have to get some more string here. And uh, we'll have to infest a... I, think I do have silkworms somewhere, right? And did I, like throw away all my silkworms? That would be annoying. I'll have to find those. I'm probably just blind? Yeah, I was just blind. Alright, um, but yeah, in between episodes I'm gonna get the rest of these things. Uh, the meshes. That is running, right? Yeah. Oh, for a second it wasn't running. And diamond mesh. I can just I don't have to go through the do I have to go through the different tiers? Do I do have to go through the different tiers? So I'm gonna have to get iron, flint, and then. But yeah. Anyway, um, just need to get some more string. And uh, we're good for right the second. But we're probably gonna have to do more of the infinity upgrades uh, before long. And that's still not really. I guess it's. It's updating pretty quick. All right. Yeah. And then we'll see if this can keep up with two of these. But anyway, we'll do that more in the next episode. So anyway, thanks for watching and have a good one.